If you guys want to be in with a chance of winning this Resurrectionist emblem, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment. What's going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny video and today we're going to cover the weekly update Bungie dropped last night because it does have some interesting details you may need to know and may want to know for the Age of Triumph. Okay so the Bungie update starts with Bungie showcasing a new page dedicated to the Age of Triumph celebration which is actually pretty cool and if you want to check it out I will link it in that video description. They also go on to link the latest Age of Triumph teaser trailer and also link the part of the stream where they talk about the sandbox changes. But I'm guessing you've heard all you need to know by every content creator out there so I won't go through them but if you did somehow miss all what's going on you will find the videos I've done covering these topics linked in that video description. So it's best with this update to skip to the long won't watch mission brief. Okay so let's fucking go. Each raid will drop iconic legendary weapons and armor up to the maximum light. Elemental primaries are making a comeback as exotic adept weapons. Every set of red armor can be augmented with new ornament tokens. Ornament tokens and adept exotics drop from challenges in the weekly featured raids. Now this is where a lot of people including myself were still a little bit confused. Uh, these actual adept exotic weapons and ornament tokens will only drop from the challenges you complete in the weekly featured raids and each uh, raid has two challenges so them challenges are what you need to complete to get these adept exotic weapons as well as the ornament tokens. Treasure of the Ages boxes will include new chroma gear and more fine tuning about the combat sandbox is on the way. Okay, so the Age of Triumph begins Tuesday, March 28th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. This will be 6 p.m. UK time as clocks here in the UK go forward on the weekend, so don't forget that. Okay, so moving on. And there are changes coming to vendors across the board. Changes myself was a little confused about and what was actually happening, so hopefully today I can clear it up for you guys who is still a little confused. So your legendary marks now are more important than ever as the following vendors will have rotating perks on armors and weapons. The Vanguard class vendors, the Vanguard Quartermaster, Lord Shax, the Crucible Quartermaster, Dead Orbit, Future Warcoat and New Monarchy. Other vendors like the Speaker, Varix and Shiro already had this feature and will continue with it. Now the thing many people were confused about here, because many people are stating that vendor weapons and armors will rotate also, not just the perks on them. Basically saying one week the Crucible vendor for instance would sell one specific set of weapons and maybe the week later he would sell a previous set of Crucible weapons. This I can confirm is not the case and is not happening which is a disappointment. I would love the chance to obtain certain old weapons from say New Monarchy which I've never had before but this is not the case. It will only be the actual perks on these weapons and armors that will be rotating each week. A few other facts about the Age of Triumph. A new quest will be available to get the Necrochasm. Now specific details on this quest have not been stated but I am guessing maybe it will drop once you defeat Crota. Obviously a part of his loot table and not a guaranteed drop. That's what I'd say it will come from. Now every primary weapon from every raid has a new exotic adept version that has an elemental burn. This includes weapon not spoke about like the Prey Death Timepiece, the Water Glass Push Rifle, a weapon I've actually never had in the past, believe it or not. A minor note from Bungie though, King's Fall weapons and armors from normal difficulty will not be available through the 390 Light Raid Reprisal. Non Herald rewards will continue to be available through their original sources. Every primary weapon from every raid also has its returning legendary version that will not have an elemental damage type applied. You can earn these from the regular 390 raid on a weekly basis. Now to end the update they dropped a few other things on what's happening when the Age of Triumph hits. On March 28th the weekly Heroic Strike and the weekly Nightfall playlists will be unavailable from 2am Pacific, 9am UTC through to the release of the Destiny update 2.6.0 at 10am Pacific. 
If a player were to complete an activity in either of these playlists prior to accepting the 2.6.0 update, they would not be able to earn new rewards from the updated Age of Triumph ritual playlists. This includes blue flames and that radiant light from the Nightfall playlist and one treasure at ages from the weekly Heroic Strike playlist. Also note, Bungie are unable to restrict the weekly Crucible playlist during this time. If a player completed a match on March 28th between 2am Pacific and the release of the 2.6.0 patch at 10am Pacific, they will not earn new Treasure of the Ages rewards from this activity until the following weekly reset. Another thing as well, the Mountaintop Crucible quest will be retired with the Age of Triumph. With the release of the Age of Triumph, the Mountaintop Crucible questline will be retired and may no longer be completed in full. Players may complete any quest steps that are actively held by characters after the release of the Age of Triumph, but will not progress any further steps. Also, the following issues will be addressed with the Destiny 2.6.0 patch, local network fireteam issues, Seaver key fragment issues and skeleton key issues. We also get a preview of the patch that comes with the Age of Triumph. The patch will include many changes, here are a few. Updated Crucible daily bounties to be more inclusive, no longer requiring specific subclasses or fire teams. Fixed an issue where a player on a surviving team could use Fireborn to cause the round to continue even when all enemies were dead. Fixed an issue that allowed supers to stay activated longer than intended. Now the rest of the patch notes will drop along with the Age of Triumph update on March 28th. Another thing to quickly add that when the Age of Triumph does drop we will be getting two new three emotes. One being called please and the other one being called thank you. Both emotes will be available for pickup at the emote collection point in the tower. But on that note guys it's time to end the video. Thanks as always for stopping by. Subscribe if you're new around here. Turn on the notifications so you never miss a video and I will catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand